Hi, and welcome to this section of the Unit Conversion Tutor. And in this uh, section, we're going to cover the topic of density, converting units associated with density. Before we do that, I need to explain to you what density really is, okay, in layman's terms, okay? Forget about math for a second. Picture a bowling ball. If I actually had one, I'd bring it in and just hold it right up here in front of you for just to kind of show it off, okay? But I don't, so this picture bowling ball right here in my hands. You know how heavy a bowling ball is. It's pretty heavy, okay? It's about this big, okay? Now, we say that that bowling ball has a certain mass, or you could say a certain weight, okay? Pretty heavy, and we say it has a certain volume. It's about this big, okay? Now, we can define the density of something. The density uh, means exactly this. It means how heavy something is, or how much mass something has, compared to how big it is, how, compared to how its volume is, how, compared to how much volume it has, okay? It's a measure of not only how, of how big something is, I'm mean, sorry, it's a measure of not only how heavy something is, but how heavy something is compared to its size. That's exactly what density means. Let me give you a further example. If you take that bowling ball, which weighs a good bit, and it's about this big, okay, and you compress it, okay, and you get it in a big crusher or something, and you squeeze that sucker down to the size of the tip of this pen, okay, this big. This is maybe an inch, half an inch on each side, but it weighs the same amount, let's say. We, we didn't change the weight because all we did was squish it. All the mass is still there. So it's going to weigh exactly what it did before, but now it's just smaller. We say that this, that this new thing that we just created has more density or higher density than the big bowling ball because we've compressed its mass into a really small volume. So basically, when something is more dense than something else, it just means that it weighs more for the same volume, for the same amount of volume compared to the thing before it. Alternatively, if you compress something really small and keep its weight constant, or its mass constant, you've increased its density. If you, on the other flip side, if you take something that, like that bowling ball, let's say we stretch it out, we make it really, really big, we make that bowling ball as big as this room, okay? but it weighs the same, let's say, because we haven't actually taken any mass away from it. We've just stretched it out. Let's, let's, let's pretend that bowling ball was made out of Play-Doh and we could stretch it out to the size of this room. It still weighs the amount of a regular bowling ball. We can still lift this bowling ball up in our hands because we know we can lift bowling balls, right? So we can get under it, we can lift it. But now it's the size of this entire room. So now for the same mass, it actually occupies a much bigger volume. So we say it has a lower density a very low density compared to the original bowling ball, okay? So density is a measure of how much mass something has compared to its size. So in mathematical terms, the way we write that is density 